Now, if you thought the Premier League title race has been exciting, how about this? A final day and the WSL is going to goal difference thanks to Chelsea's 1-0 win against Tottenham. So Chelsea, goodness be, really in the driving seat now. Uh, guess who they play? On Saturday, though, it is Manchester United at Old Trafford. It is far from over yet, isn't it? Despite Emma Hayes almost conceding that a while ago. But goodness me, so exciting. Yeah, absolutely. She gave it up and now it's back in her hands. I mean, yeah, Manchester United beat Chelsea in the FA Cup semi-finals, remember? So it's not exactly the case that Chelsea are going to turn up and win. You know, they'll have probably revenge on their minds. But I remember when... I went down to Cobham to see the Chelsea squad and they were talking about revenge for the Conti Cup final. They were playing Arsenal, who had beaten them in the year before. And obviously that didn't go to plan because Arsenal won that cup as well. So, you know, it's a great scenario we have on the final day. Chelsea and Man City both level on points. Chelsea obviously go to United in fifth place. Man City go to Aston Villa, who finished last season in fifth place. So it's two difficult games. You've got Carla Ward's last game as Aston Villa manager. She'll be wanting to go out on a high. True. So there's plenty, plenty to play for on the final day. It's going to be a great, great day yeah. on Saturday. A relegation already decided, as you can see, as are the Champions League places. So really, all this focus is up there, isn't it? And goodbyes, as you mentioned, for a couple of managers, lots of change. Let's talk about the fact that they are two goals ahead of Man City, who play, as you've already mentioned, Sam, um, Aston Villa... Should they lose the title on goal difference? Do you think Khadija Shaw's injury might actually be the reason? Well, it's possibly one of the reasons. Yeah, I mean, she, she got 21 <laughs> WSL goals in just 18 games before she got injured. So mm. an incredible season and obviously a critical time to lose her. Obviously wasn't available for the game against Arsenal where they were 1-0 up going into the final stages recently. Two late Steiner Blatstenius goals won the game for Arsenal and that's why Chelsea are kind of back in the driving seat in the title race. I think if you look at Manchester City's other players, only one other player has scored uh, six or more goals in the WSL this season. That's Lauren Hemp. Shaw has got 21. So it just shows how reliant they were on her and, as I say, a critical time to lose her, unfortunately, for them. Mm. And now we've got Pep Guardiola chasing a record fourth successive Premier League title. Emma Hayes within touching distance of her fifth in a row. I mean, just... How big of an achievement would that be? It would mean an awful lot to her to walk out having achieved that, wouldn't it? I mean, we're talking about Pep and Emma Hayes. They are very similar. They just mm. keep pulling it out of the bag, mm. don't they? I mean, think about this season. Arsenal made the Alessia Russo statement saying we're going to bolster our, our attack that already has people like Black Stenius and Viv Miedemar in there. City obviously had Bunny Shaw. They had, the, mm. they had the top goal scorer in the league. And it was really up against Chelsea, wasn't it? They had Sam Kerr out with an ACL, Mia Fischel. That's the two first-choice strikers out with ACL injuries. They had Millie Bright out for an important part of the season. So injuries at both ends. And they still go into the final day with it all in their hands. So, yeah, I think it's real... real I think this could potentially be Emma Hayes' best WSL title win yet because it's just been the most challenging. And it's her last one as well. So it's, 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 it's going to be a great day for her on Saturday yeah. as well. You talk about some of these parallels. I was comparing her a little while ago to Jurgen Klopp when he suddenly announced he was leaving Liverpool and they had so much in their hands and going for trebles and doubles. Things kind of fell away for them. Similar thing kind of happened with Emma Hayes, didn't it? At Chelsea, it was almost like she'd announced she was leaving, she needed to get that off her chest, and yet again, things fell away. But she somehow managed to turn it back around again. But she's going to want this trophy, isn't she, more than anything because of what else was on offer this season that she's missed out on? Well, yeah, like you say, I mean, it was not so long ago that we were talking about could Emma Hayes go out with a quadruple in her mm. final season at Chelsea. Obviously, things haven't quite worked out. That Champions League exit to Barcelona will really sting. We saw how mm. upset she was about that. And so WSL is the final opportunity to go out with a trophy in her hand. And she said, uh, after the game last night, she said it'd be a fitting finale to go to Old Trafford, one of the most famous stadiums in the world, and try and win the league for a fifth time in a row as Chelsea manager. It's... It's far from a, far, uh, a foregone conclusion. I was at the FA Cup final on Sunday. Manchester United were brilliant, absolutely thrashed Tottenham, who froze a little bit at Wembley. But United were brilliant. They'll be riding a wave and they want to go out of the season on a high, stopping Chelsea winning the league. They might not want to hand the league to Manchester City. But in front of uh, so many fans at Old Trafford, it would be 
an incredible opportunity for Emma Hayes to win it, but it's not a foregone conclusion. Yeah, I just want to bring in here as so one of the things that Emma Hayes has been most upset about is so many injuries, not just to, to her team, but to so many, with lots of problems in, in the women's game. Uh, yesterday it was announced there's going to be an inaugural Women's Club World Cup from 2026. FIFA also outlined as well the new four-year women's international match calendar. Um, that's going to come in from 2026. I haven't included mandatory rest periods, do you think it could be actually damaging for, for the domestic league or well, leagues, not just in England, of course? Well, look at, look at the numbers. The, the, there's no change to the actual number of games that are going to be played if, if you're a European club. Players are already complaining about the lack of rest they have. Mm. And yes, while they've reduced the international windows from six to five, and there's been talk with all this Project ACL going on that travel does have an impact, but, you know, this summer, England have four games in June and July. These players aren't going to have a rest at all. Mm. So I think maybe we should be looking to reduce the number of games that these, that these female players are playing. And, and then the men's game as well, because it implies to that as well. But, yeah, in, instead of maybe keeping it and changing the, changing the goalposts almost. OK. Just very finally, before we go, are Chelsea going to do it? Yes or no? Yes. Why not? Yeah. Emma Hayes go out on high. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting if... If, Aston Villa, if Man City score first, but yeah, I think Chelsea did it. Okay, right, plenty still to come. We're going to be 